Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eclipse, and today we're going to be reacting to Star Wars is the Force of Evil, the Bog Beast of Bogba, and Total Eclipse the Moon. So the last episode of Star Wars is the Force of Evil, I believe it was called Stump Day. So Star's friends decided to throw her a quinceanera to celebrate her 15th birthday. However, her birthday actually fell on Stump Day. Now, that was a huge issue because apparently if you angered the stump gods, like, bad stuff will happen. And bad stuff did happen. Thank goodness the whole group survived that horrible stump crisis attack or whatever, the attack of the stump. And now it leaves us to these episodes. The Bog Beast of Bogba and Total Eclipse of the Moon. So, Bog Beast. I don't know if we've heard of um, a Bog Beast before in this show. When I think Bog Beast, I think the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. I highly doubt that's what we're going to see, but if we see something similar to that, hey, that would be cool. So, Total Eclipse of the Moon. This episode might be the trial episode for Eclipsa. When she goes on trial against the whole High Commission, or the Magical High Commission. And this may be the episode that she finally figures out that her daughter, all this time, is still alive. Heinous, or Meteora in this case, is still alive. That's gonna be interesting to see! Um, I don't know if we're gonna be seeing her monster husband, I don't even know if he's alive. Chances are he probably is alive, but yeah, we all know Heinous is alive. She seems dead inside, but she's alive. Not now if we're going to be getting an interaction between Meteora or Hainus and Eclipsa. So, I don't know. I don't know. I hope we do, but at the same time, that might happen in the previous episodes that are going to be taking place, like, these couple weekends. She may possibly figure out that her um, daughter is alive all this time, which would be very interesting to see. The whole Magical High Commission has to decide her fate. Like, I don't know what will happen if she is guilty. I hope she's not guilty, because I actually really like her, but I don't know what she's planning. I don't want to think of her as evil. I believe that's all I have to say as far as my predictions go. So, without further ado, let's get on with the reaction. What's Queen Moon up to this time? Oh, and start again. <laughs> oh yeah, that. That. Yeah, that's, that's insane. I know. Wait. Did she know about that? No, this is a real issue! That's what she's worried about? Not the heinous incident? Yeah. Who did? No, no, heinous is actually Meteora! Oh! Oh, come on! Moon! Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hey, River. Oh, come on, River. You know your daughter. Oh, that's completely random, but okay. Yeah. No. Okay. I guess we're going on the hunting trip with River now. Oh, hi, Star. Oh, man. Yikes, I would, yeah. <laughs> she has a lot of hair. Wow. I did not realize how much hair she has. Oh. Were those leeches? Oh. Whoa! Come on! Oh. Oh gosh, that must have hurt. Uh. Uh. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright then. I guess we lost communication with the outside world. Alright. Oh, oh, whoa, hey, hey there. Uh, okay, that's nice. How long has he been there? Oh, man. Interesting. Oh. I mean, I'm sure Star can handle it, but... Yikes. Looks like a while. Oh, no. Days, weeks... Uh, Creeper? Uh, what's going on? Is he trying to switch minds with Star? It's not how it works. Invisibility? Oh! 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 Oh, whoops! Get the shoes! Oh! Oh! Yikes! Um, does he? He's actually doing a pretty good job! I... 
Oh, never mind. Um. Hmm. How? How do you do that with just? Okay. Sure. Cartoon logic. No. No. No way. Just kill it. Just kill the beast. I don't even care. Ah, oh, no, you're doing this all over again. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Oh. Oh, he's not ready. He's getting older. No, 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 no. Uh, I would not sleep in those woods without any protection spells or anything. Oh, the bond beast is coming. Oh, my star. Oh, boy. Whoa! That's so cool! Upgrade! Love the outfit! Oh, no. Creepy. She has not bow and arrow set with her wand? That's amazing. Oh. Wait, where is the person who was supposed to be helping them originally? Do we know what happened to him? Uh. Wait, what? Is there a civilization? Wow. So it's a title, not a monster. Darn. I was hoping to make a Lord of the Rings reference. Darn it. Aww. Oh, we're like with his party and... Huh. Sounds like a fun party. Alright, back at the castle. Oh, you could have cleaned up first. Okay. Alright. Wait. What? Oh! We're getting Moon's side of the story. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I got a bit confused. I'm like, did the episode restart or something? Oh, for Um... What the? Uh... What?! She plays instruments? She's great! That's great! Oh! That was awesome! Oh! Oh! Meteora. She's alive. That's what happened to her. She's alive and she's been running a school for all these years. Oh yay! Oh man, Moon the Clipsa Adventures. I love it. I love this so much. This is great. This is gonna be a great episode. I can feel it. Uh, uh, okay then. Oh. Yeah, scan the queen. No, it's I don't need to. Yeah. It's probably fine. Yeah, I was gonna say she's the queen, but then she has a cup so. Now where's the archive? I don't know. Uh Eclipsa. Oh man. It's a kid closet. Is it? Room by its supplies. Uh Not some ways to get into a room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, uh, Sean. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. She's the queen. Bow down to her. <laughs> what? You can't do that, but can you? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Cover been blown. Oh. <laughs> I love Eclipse so much. Yeah, you are, but it's okay. <laughs> she is so much fun. She is so much fun. I love her. So she really loves music. <laughs> this is so much fun. But, yeah. Oh. Uh, why not? I could say, can you help? Yeah, I'm, I'm no oh man. Uh, should you trust her? I mean, I trust her somewhat, but you know. Huh? That's a big spider. Um, this is weird. Oh uh, no. Oh, he's hypnotizing her to get the crown. Oh, Moon, you're better than that. Oh, oh and he has the crown. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Oh, no. No. Oh! Nice. How did she... Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh my, that's... That's an easy way to... Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Good job, Moon. That's very nice. After she helped you. Okay. Alright. So she spent a lot of time in here. Huh? Wait. Wait, what? Who, wait, who is Festivia? Who was she? Is she? She's not alive, is she? Moon! Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, then there's a spider. Come on, come on, Moon! Okay, good, good. Huh. Oh, nice. Nice job, Moon. Oh, Magic High Commission. That was close. Really close. You better send her back to her imprisonment. She is. It's heinous. Hey. to you next weekend but still so the first episode star and river went on a adventure to catch the bog beast when in reality it was really just a title and you have to go through all this i guess um process to get to obtain that title if that makes any sense but yeah that was a really cute episode i like that we saw some river and star bonding moments the second episode with um eclipsa and Moon. First of all, I love Eclipsa and Moon's relationship. I like how it's progressing into more of a, I guess, calm, happy relationship, like a friendship and an understanding. But Festiva, that's interesting. Or Festivia, I don't remember how they pronounced the name. I thought it was Festiva or Vestivia. I'm just gonna say Festiva. But yeah, so Festiva, who is she? She replaced Heinous or Meteora. So, who is she? It's not her daughter. No. 
It had to be of someone who, like, came in and took over or was, like, a memory erased. Or maybe Festivia really is heinous, but, like, they kind of replaced her. What if Festivia never even existed? What if Festivia was really just a made-up name, a made-up character to replace Meteora because they didn't want her to be in the royal family because, I mean, she was half monster and monster love was forbidding. I have to say, though, I do like that we're getting some progression in character development in Moon and Eclipsa, especially their relationship. Because, honestly, Eclipsa is getting more and more character development and I'm loving it. Just, writers, keep that going because I just, I love that. And she's really fun. I think she, I don't think she's evil. I don't want her to be evil. Eclipsa is just a really fun person. It's like, it was some miscommunication. When you were tracking down these records, or maybe when they were writing down her history, like we saw in the archives, maybe they got it all wrong. Maybe she really wasn't evil and as wicked as some people thought she was, because she used some forbidden magic. Overall, Pretty great episodes. So, I thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment down below tell me what you thought of these episodes. Wow. Cliffhanger. I hate them so much. We have something to look forward to next weekend, but... <sighs> Man! End it with a cliffhanger like that? That's not fair! Who's Festiva? And where's Meteora right now? I know she was in the woods last time we saw her, and she figured out who she really was. And also... Who erased her memory? I don't know if we're going to be touching on who Festiva is or really was or not, or we're just going to really focus on Meteora. Either one I'm okay with, but if we got an explanation to both of them, that would be great too. That would be pretty great too. Overall, great episodes. The first episode was great. I love Star and River's relationship, how they had like a bonding experience, but the second episode is what was really story driven and Moon and Eclipse's relationship. Great. Just keep expanding on that. Keep doing more character development writers. You're doing great. I definitely want to see more of this. And I'm very curious to see where the storyline goes. Especially with Festiva. I did not think Festiva, out of all these queens, was going to be the one that we touched on. Or, I mean, it makes sense because I think Festiva came right after Eclipse. But who is Festiva? So, I thank you all so much for watching, and next time, bye guys!